form it you just have to take the crockery use it wash it and drop it back you don't have to pay any charges for using the crockery so these are the four major uh, you know reasons which were really made me think ki i have to do something i can hi friends welcome to change started to our series change trails many of us organize parties and social get togethers where we invite people for food and drinks most of the time it is an occasion to celebrate and have fun but one thing which is not at all celebratory is the use of single use plastic and disposable utensils these single use plastic items end up in landfills polluting the environment and our water bodies what if we have a solution that is not only environment friendly but is available for free crockery bank for everyone is one such initiative uh, which all of us can use we are going to speak to the founder of the crockery bank initiative samira satija welcome samira thank you so much thank you thank you so uh, let us understand what were you doing before you started crockery crockery bank i am full fledged working woman i am i work under central government i am an auditor uh, but uh, you know i am uh, i am a conscious person and environmentally conscious also so i have been associated with many organizations as a volunteer okay and first volunteering i started with my home okay. you know i started to segregate my waste i started to reduce the waste i started to start living a sustainably chemical free lifestyle so also so when i used to i mean we have the understanding of what what is the waste and what it ends up you know what all the waste ends up into so it ends up into the landfills we we used to go to the landfills and audit the landfills what kind of waste comes to the landfills so my understanding comes down to this point that maximum you know the huge volume of the waste lying into the landfills is what is disposable waste you know other kind of waste can, it can be recycled it gets recycled the other kind of plastic is but the single use plastic waste as the name suggests it is single use it cannot be recycled so it ends ends up into the landfills only so that is my first learning that the maximum the huge volume of the waste which ends up into the landfills is consists of single use item that's not just a, a plastic any kind of single use item other than that i realized whenever there is any bhandara or any social event is happening around our neighborhood you know we live in north indian uh, states and we we see so many bhandaras are happening on any auspicious days the people are feeding to the poor people you know and once the bhandara is over the single use plastic waste is lying over there it wasn't just lying over there rather flying because it's very lightweight it's very flimsy it just flying and choking the water bodies along the road you know the the uh, water bodies the main hose the gutters you know and uh, the storm water drains they choke those this is one part the second part it not only chokes the water body it chokes the you know uh, chokes the astray animals i myself seen a cow literally choking because she's ingesting that uh, single use plastic plate because the food was stuck to it the you know uh, choke you know the dogs and the cows they just they just choke by uh, you know eating those uh, single use plastic and the marine waste uh, marine uh, pollution in other kind of in the, in the oceans we all know in the oceans huge kind of, uh, volume of plastic waste is lying over there so mainly four reasons were there one it is bad for uh, the water bodies second it is bad for the stray animals third it is bad for our own environment because it goes to the landfill and then burns into the landfills because of the landfill fires we all know our landfills are on auto ignition mode they they generate methane and they are on no auto ignition mode so the uh, single use plastic or the styrofoam the name suggests it burns over there and the fourth very important part which which really pogged me to do this thing uh, this thing this styrofoam uh, crockery uh, as the name suggests is made of styrene it is made of the chemical styrene now you can all google what styrene is styrene is a chemical which can trigger cancerous cells into your body when you are exposed to this kind of uh, you know uh, material so when we feed poor people on daily basis you know i know some people who used to feed uh, you know poor people on daily basis into the styrofoam plates 
so you are feeding them food but you are serving them cancer also you know knowingly or unknowingly i'm not saying that they do it knowingly but some how unknowingly but you are serving them the cancer also you are serving them other disease also because it's very very dangerous the styrene so these are the four major uh, you know reasons which were really made me think ki i have to do something i cannot wait till the government brings that law or the rules ki plastic is totally banned you know it's not happening it's not happening we were trying to educate people we were trying to uh, you know spread the awareness but it wasn't happening on that pace because the other question was arising then what do we do you know ठीक है मैम आप बोल रहे हैं कि ये यूज नहीं करें सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक बट देन व्हाट डू वी यूज व्हिच इज अ वैलिड क्वेश्चन इट इज अ वैलिड क्वेश्चन कि ये व्हाट डू वी डू यूज सो आई वेंट इन टू द मार्केट आई सर्च फॉर दोस पत्तल वाला प्लेट्स we used to have in in our times the patal wala plates Absolutely. and to my surprise uh, there was no patal wala plates available in the market everywhere is styrofoam 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 yeah. so the vendor told me ki ma'am ab kon patal wali plate leta hai ab to sab log ye use karte hain so that was really a hard hitting uh, you know uh, that fact to me ki there is if there is no alternative available in the market was the point of me of educating people you know ki aap ye use mat karo and there is no other alternative then that is the time when i decided that i have to do something i cannot just sit back and you know let it happen so i decided to buy i started it very humble it was a very humble start i just bought 100 uh, glasses and 200 thalis i started with that but uh, this was the start absolutely so that's how fantastic so to start this this thing that crockery bank where you will be giving uh, your crockery to other people so was it some you got some inspiration from somewhere or you just thought that this could be a solution which we could take it to the people well honestly i i belong to a sikh community because i am a sikhi follower so i used to go to the uh, gurdwaras and we have always seen uh, uh, you know the stainless steel crockery being served in uh, I mean, you know in, in the gurdwaras so i had this thought ki gurdwara if gurdwaras can do this kind of thing in uh, stainless steel so why can't we people do this thing, you know so that was the basic idea in my mind because i have already seen uh, gurdwaras having stainless steel uh, you know plates so that was in my mind so maybe that's the inspiration yeah Cool. So, was it like you started serving your guest first, and then uh, took it to people who who were interested in this, or how you got the first no. or a first set of? Ha, people? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's interesting. So, when I was, you know, when I was, uh, you know, uh, what do you call? When I was uh, thinking about this idea and working on this idea. in the meantime anirjal kashi was coming anirjal kashi when we used to serve thanda pani to the passers by it it happens in june because it's the hottest day in the june so anirjal kashi was coming and i was thinking ki if this idea is into my mind and anirjal kashi goes by and the sing, single use uh, you know the volume of single use glasses is uh, it, it happened so what's the point of me of thinking of this so let's just start with the uh, this uh, anirjal kashi so we, i bought 100 glasses initially i bought 100 glasses and then i spread the message into my environment groups the local whatsapp groups uh, ki uh, i have bought this uh, 100 glasses and if anyone is uh, organizing this anirjal kashi you can take from me so we distributed uh, into three groups 30 30 glasses into three groups because 30 glasses were enough because from the very beginning i wanted to uh, spread the message of re reusing it it's not that you are serving 100 people so you have to take the 100 glasses it doesn't work on single use thing you know it's always re- rewash and reuse the idea is rewash and reuse so uh, 30 glasses were enough so at the end of the day i asked every every team ki how many uh, single use items i mean the rough data we have been able to save so uh, the calculation comes to 7000 single use glasses so the three teams with the collective efforts we could save 7000 single use glasses in one day right, right. so that was very inspiring that was very motivating ki uh, i mean uh, with only 30 glasses per team we can save this much of this you know so i thought ki okay it is acceptable it is workable and it is impactful so then i decided to go for the uh, 
these thalis and there was uh, another uh, group member uh, he's a distant relative also so i saw him on uh, facebook i used to saw him on the facebook and he used to do bhandara on daily basis and serve his uh, you know uh, uh, labor he has this construction business and he used to serve to his labor daily daily and he used to generate uh, single use plastic on daily basis and that pinched me a lot that used to pinch me a lot ki this person is <laughs> you know generating single use plastic on daily basis and he is putting on social media like anything so i bought 100 thalis and i just contacted him i asked him ki can you please for once use my thalis just take them just use it for once so obviously he was little hesitant ki kaise wash hoga ye wo so i i asked him ki wash me kya problem hai jo labor khana kha rahi hai wo labor ek bar thali dho bhi sakti hai you know हम गुरुद्वारे में जाते हैं हम अपनी थाली धोते हैं तो दैट लेबर कैन आल्सो वॉश द थाली है ना इफ दे आर हैविंग फ्री फूड तो दे कैन यू नो एट लीस्ट वॉश द थाली सो ही सेड ओके ओके दैट्स नो प्रॉब्लम आई आई विल यूज इट लेट लेट मी डू दिस लेट मी ट्राई दिस एंड व्हेन इन द इवनिंग ही कॉल्स मी एंड आई वाज लिटरली द बटरफ्लाइज इन माय स्टमक कि पता नहीं क्या रिस्पांस आने वाला है कि इट वाज फ्लॉप और ये वो बट द मोमेंट आई पिकड अप द फोन एंड ही सेड मैडम आपने तो आज मेरे भंडारे को चार चांद लगा दिए भंडारा साइड कि आज हम सर्व करने जाएंगे यू नो पीपल फील गुड कि चलो आज हम सर्व करके आते हैं खाना सो दे केम टू हिज भंडारा साइड टू सर्व एंड देन दे सॉ द थाली स्टिंगलेस द थाली तो दे वर लाइक एनी थिंग एंड दे वर पुटिंग ऑन द सोशल मीडिया आर टेकिंग पिक्चर्स एंड फ्रॉम दैट डे ही स्टार्टेड यूजिंग माई थालीज ऑन डेली बेसिस but in the meantime word spread and uh, calls coming start coming to me ki we need thalis on this cement and that's that even and i used to run to the market i still remember the whenever the call comes i used to run to the market buy more thalis because i cannot not say no to anyone you know so after some time he just uh, gave back my thalis he bought his own 200 thalis and he is still doing that bandara with his stainless steel thalis only so uh, that's how it started but but the response was very overwhelming it was tremendous response absolutely when you when you see people's reaction it gives you more motivation to take it ahead yeah. right and that's truly how, truly that's truly, what happens truly true so when was this yeah. what year did you start this initiative yeah it was in 2018 i still remember it's 22nd june 2018 then it's like as she was there on 20 wonderful that you remember the date as well because it was a special day yeah because it's yeah it was a special day <laughs> <laughs> awesome so so now explain us how does the process work so how can customer mm-hmm. approach you and what happens after that yeah so it's very simple basic uh, format you just have to take the crockery use it wash it and drop it back you don't have to pay any charges for using the crockery though any item is lost or damaged you have to pay the charges of that item you know per piece item you have to pay that charges so we explain it uh, from the very beginning whenever some calls or any 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 message comes to us ki we need this crockery so we put that official message to him so that's a very basic simple method and uh, since we don't charge anything but we have to take care of the safety of the crockery so we just ask for any any id proof of your local address any kind of id proof just send us the picture of any id proof with the local address that's all we'll ask for nothing else and then people come they take the crockery use it wash it and drop it back if any item is lost so they pay me normally it's not lost normally some spoons are lost and i have kept very nominal price of that spoon so it doesn't pinch me it doesn't pinch them uh, wonderful uh, samira so uh, so the customer can just give you a call or a whatsapp message and that's it how that's how it works any yeah yeah ha huh. they can write me on crockery bank facebook page insta page my own page uh, my facebook page now to everyone has my number the uh, people who are on regular basis they have my number and uh they can just drop message over there but if someone is new they can uh, drop message on crockery bank for everyone page the insta page or my own individual page they can just drop a message over there wonderful so, samira my next question is like what motivated you to give this service for free i mean you could easily charge also right i mean you could easily charge yeah, for yeah. some even for less amount but at least you can charge why you are doing it for free well as i told you i was working into the waste management thing so i realized that people are you know some section of the people who are very conscious 
who are ready to take that change were ready to make that effort but mostly people are not ready to make any efforts you know they take everything for granted chalta hai chalta karke now the problem is ki you you know bringing someone uh, from that uh, what do you call that uh, comfort zone you know the comfort zone is what you brought the single use crockery you just serve it and you just throw the burden and you just went away to your home it's the very comfort zone now bringing them from that comfort zone ki take the crockery wash the crockery and give back to me it's an extra effort on them and on top of that if i ask money nobody is going to come to you know make that effort so to motivate them or maybe to you know tap that psychology of indian people ki free hai it's free you know that psychology ki free mil raha free mil raha so i think i thought it might work ki free mil raha hai and it worked because because the message was very clear you are saving the money as well as the environment so it's a win win situation na ki money bhi save ho rahi hai aur aap environment bhi save kar rahe hain so it's a win win situation so people used to think ki theek hai burai kya hai fir to koi baat nahi hai <laughs> le lete hain jaake because i don't want to do it for just for the sake of it i want to make it a doable it want to make it a workable model so i did it uh, for that purpose and, and i you know i know that we have been a very sustainable society indians have already been very sustainable we have seen our in, in our childhood days ki people used to borrow crockery from their neighbors ki ghar mein mehman aa rahe crockery borrow karke le aaye hota tha na chalta hi tha ye sab yes, yes. so hum aaj bhi to kar sakte hain what hum society to hain what are we we are humans we are society so it's just to create that thought to create you know to give it a push just that yeah so it is not very not only very noble but it will also probably create a mass movement where people yeah. come to know about your initiative and probably they might start in their own own place and own society and and take yeah, it yeah. So that's what we want right yeah no no this is the this is so i had thought from the very beginning ki i don't want to restrict it to myself Yeah. it was from the very beginning i had this thought ki i don't want to restrict it to myself it's an environmental uh, you know cause i cannot restrict it to myself i cannot environment is not meant for me it is not meant for my uh, neighborhood it is meant for all everyone has to do their efforts so from the very beginning i had this idea that i had to rap- i had to ask people to replicate it i don't want to own this initiative i still don't own this initiative i don't say it is my uh, thing that's why the name is crockery bank for everyone right it is for everyone so when when uh, people used to take the crockery some societies so those rws were uh, they used to ask me ki ma'am we want to contribute we want to donate something to you mm-hmm. so i uh, told them ki i i don't need any more crockery because i have enough crockery i don't need any crockery i don't need any donation because i have invested my money but if you are you know very aligned to this subject you are liking this idea and you think it is workable just start your own bank just start in your society start your society bank start with 50 or uh, utensils start with 60 utensils ek bar aap 50 lo second time dusre event mein 60 lo you know gradually you will make 250 or 300 wala uh, uh, crockery bank and it is more than enough so they used to uh, get very you know a uh, kind of shock can we do this can we start our own crockery bank you know they had this key. it is their it is her initiative how can we do this but when it is coming from me ki no 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 it's open for everyone you can do this please replicate this idea so it was like uh, so now we have around 30 teams uh, all over uh, nation uh, who who are giving crockery to everyone and i mean unlimited uncountable number of crockery banks for the societies who are just making uh, you know have kept the crockery bank for their society yeah, they are not giving to anyone out, outsider but for their society so 30 teams from all over india who are for general people who gives crockery to everyone so uh, that's how it happened and uh, most of them uh, most of the teams i don't know i never met them i met them through facebook page or maybe personal message i guided them how to do this these are the final details these are the pros and cons you know and then they started this so like suppose somebody from bombay wants to use it i mean is there a provision for that somebody wants to use it in in chennai is there a provision for that yeah yeah we have a team in chennai also oh, okay okay so uh, you we already have but in, 
so is it like you are constantly okay. partnering with others and and getting in touch with them and then uh, serving people because otherwise how will, you know. how will somebody in hyderabad know that yes there is there is crockery brand for everyone which i can use uh well honestly i am not making any uh, effort into that by that means i am not i am not tapping anyone but as a social media or the you know uh, okay. uh, platforms like you Got they it. spread the message i mean this this initiative was covered by every channel yes. every channel every newspaper every small environmental group ngo everyone has covered this Uh, initiative so many people at least who are into this uh, environmental thing they know about this initiative so they when they get to know about this thing they contact me and then i'll share all the details with them there is a, a proper message about them the all the details are there i just copy and paste those uh, details with them and they can just replicate this idea simple kudos to you ma'am to 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 this oh, thank wonderful you, thank wonderful you. thank you so much uh, <laughs> my next question is what are the challenges do you face in this journey from last 2 3 years what you are doing honestly not really any challenge honestly hmm. not any challenge i mean maybe there are some learnings but not any challenge learnings in terms of ki you know how to take the crockery how to uh, keep it how to wash it you know uh, maybe that learning but not any uh, any challenge if you ask me any challenge no challenge absolutely no challenge uh, this is very encouraging to hear right i mean anybody who wants to replicate this model yeah. without any without yeah. any uh, innovations they can they can do that right the only only challenge i i shouldn't say it's a challenge the only only uh, thing which which bothered me is that people used to ask crockery uh, like they are uh, suppose they are serving around uh, 500 or 700 gathering mm -hmm. so they you used to ask me for 500 and 700 thalis okay okay so the challenge was there then i have to convince them that it doesn't work like that it is not a single use item thing right. if you are serving 500 or 700 people but you won't serve them in one go Right. In one go, you probably serve not more than hundred uh, fifty or maybe two hundred people. Correct. Absolutely. More than that in one go. Yes. So just take the crockery, just take two hundred uh, plates, and they, those are more than enough. And the people who are uh, taking the crockery on regular basis, they just take hundred. Can you believe that? It did just take hundred thali. मैम बहुत है हम कर लें बिकॉज इट्स इजी टू टेक लेसर नंबर ऑफ क्वांटिटीज मैनेज इट यू नो वॉश इट देन टू टेक अ होल लॉट ऑफ 500 थालीज एंड देन काउंट इट शुड मैं भी काउंट करूं देन दे काउंट सो ग्रेजुअली दे लर्न या 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 100 थालीज अ मोर देन इनफ सो दैट वाज द चैलेंज नॉट चैलेंज मे बी मे बी अ माइंडसेट या या एग्जैक्टली एंड थिंग्स विल चेंज आई हैव रियलाइज्ड exactly as you said uh -huh. right i mean when uh, the next time the customer will come they will they will realize uh, what they have to do so yeah yeah it's ha uh, it's all about reduction it's all about reducing yes and yeah, that's what we practice in our lives ki reduce please reduce you know so just reduce reduce in your mind yeah absolutely so do you have any plans for the future how you want to take this initiative forward or you just want to go with the flow no i am going with the flow i am doing my efforts and risk the uh, you know maybe i need the support of you guys i need uh, <laughs> in the way you are spreading it i'm sure it is going to be a, a, a maybe a lifestyle maybe a lifestyle for everyone i i always think that every society every university every institute every colony every mandir every every set of group should have their own property and that's my vision Okay. Yeah, and you have you, know? you have kick started this wonderful initiative, so I'm sure more people will yeah. take this forward and and try to replicate wherever possible. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Samira, mm -hmm. we made the crockery banks into the mandir uh, mandirs also. There are some uh, temples of uh, the villages. We created crockery bank over there also because they used to uh, organize bandaras on every uh, you know uh, auspicious day. So we created uh, those. Uh, um, Temples, uh, the crockery banks in those temples, and then we get them, uh, you know, uh, facilitated by our DC, uh, Gurgaon Commissioner. Okay. So they feel very happy. Ki, okay, we got the certificate that this uh, gram panchayat or this is doing a good, good uh, thing for the environment. So they feel very uh, good about that. Right. 
So what was the reason for naming this crockery bank for everyone? <laughs> As I told you, it is it is used by everyone and it is uh, maybe replicated by everyone and it is uh, maybe uh, maybe maintained by everyone. Maintenance is very important, you know. If you are not going to give me crockery in good form, properly washed, how can the other person who is going to uh, lend the crockery the next time, how can he be convinced that it's a workable idea? Because he'll, he'll take the uh, dirty crockery. So he'll not be convinced. So the maintaining of this thing lies on you. So it, it lies on everyone. Cool. So my final question, Samira, is like, what is your personal connection with environment and nature? You you alluded it in the beginning, but just whatever you do in your personal capacity, let us tell us about it. I'm a very, very conscious person because once, uh, you know, when I was a child, I I read, uh, uh, you know, uh, our responsibility. You know, we have fundamental uh, rights, but we have our fundamental duties. So I read those duties and it those duties were somewhere you know, they play a very great role into my uh, lifestyle. And there was a duty which says it is the duty of every citizen to take care of the forest, to take care of the water bodies, to take care of the environment and to take care of all the living beings. It is the duty of every Indian citizen. It is enshrined in our constitution, in the fundamental duties. So somewhere that thought is within me. I have imbibed that thought and I try to lead my life like that only. It is my own personal duty. It is my duty to, uh, you know, preserve the natural resources for my children. I'm being very selfish, you know. I'm not saying that I am doing it to, uh, to gain name or maybe something. No, no, no. I'm doing it for my children. I want to conserve natural resources for them. So I'm doing this for my children. And I want everyone to do this for my children because I cannot do it alone, you know. So other than that, I try to live a totally, totally sustainable life. So for that matter, single use item is totally no for me. It's not just single use plastic, but single use material. It can be cloth, it can be tissue paper, it can be anything. But I am totally against a single use item. I always believe in reusing, recycling. So that matter. Uh, and I always carry my straw, uh, stainless steel straw. I always carry my stainless steel spoon. I always carry my stainless steel glass and my bottle and a handkerchief into my bag. I always, always carry them. I don't use any kind of single use thing that way. And I always carry my own bag, thala wala jo hota hai. And so these are the very small, mind, you know, very, very doable, very workable lifestyle changes which anyone can make. Yeah. Other than that, there are endless, endless things you can do. Yeah. You know, you start living chemical-free lifestyle. Now I've started living chemical-free lifestyle. So I make my own product that is called bioenzyme. Again, it is made out of your uh, waste, your yeah. citrus waste, the orange, mosmi, lemon peels. Right. So it's a it's a totally totally eco friendly, totally sustainable, and uh, you know alternative to the chemical laden uh, those uh, the cleaners. Right. So I've stopped using any chemical in my home, you know. And uh, you know you start uh, when you start you know uh, walking on this journey, na you you learn every day. Yeah. You learn every day. You reduce reduce every day. You start reducing every day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, very well put, uh, Samira. I mean, and as you said, it is not only for our children, but for all the children around us for the future. Oh, no. And uh, now such is the situation that we have to do it for us also, right? I mean, the climate change is happening right now. I mean, weather is... This, we are living in a time when a handful of people doing waste management or living sustainably perfectly is not going to happen. It's not that he, a handful of people are doing it perfectly. Rather, all of our, all of us are doing imperfectly. Correct. Correct. It's just very well said. <laughs> so thanks, thanks so much, Samira, for this for this wonderful conversation, for your wonderful you. initiative. You. Uh, all the best Thank wishes, you. and I hope it's successful and many more people adopt this initiative. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for finding it a worthy initiative to be talked about, to be spread about. And I really, really thankful to people like you. I mean, they have helped me a lot, truly. <laughs>